a digitaldreamer.com. Now, I found this website a, f a little while back, and what I do, I give it to students to say, hey, here's some royalty-free stock photography. So when I say royalty-free, you can free to mess around with it as much as you want. So that's good stuff. Helps me out, too, because a lot of times, you know, sometimes I'm looking for just some reference to use on a video, and if you don't do it quite the right way everybody's like eh, you can't use that even if it's for educational use so what I'm going to do here is show you some nifty stuff with the layer blending and we'll just kind of search around for a second and look for something that is of interest like liquids and glasses maybe mm, no. Here we go, here's some marbles. Okay, so here's some marbles, and what I'm gonna do is copy this image and bring it into Photoshop. Okay, and look at there. Wow, wasn't that fast? <laughs> so I had I had that planned. Um also I'm gonna grab some texture here. And the texture is located here and I got several variations of texture okay so I'm gonna grab this rough stuff copy this image and then I'm gonna go back to the marbles keep in mind there is no right answer to this stuff it is all fun and games so I got some screwy looking texture and I got some marbles okay what am I gonna show you well, I'm going to show you that, you know, you can blend these things together very quickly and easily using the layer option blending, okay? So, take this for example. I want to see that marble real quick, so I'm going to multiply this image just so I can see the marble in the background. Adding texture to something is one of the the key essential tricks to Photoshop. So I'm just going to kind of stretch this out just a little bit, hit the move tool, hit apply. And then I'm going to go into here and go to edit, transform, and then warp. And the trick here is you don't want a square texture on a round surface. So what I'm going to do is kind of fold this in on itself a little bit by using warp. And this will allow me to get pretty close, not dead on, but pretty close. And then go ahead and hit move and apply. So how do I get really close? Well, what I do is I take the marquee selection tool and go alt and shift. I click and drag out until I reach the edge of the marble or close thereof. And put it right about here. Then I select inverse and delete on the keyboard. Okay. Leaving me with just a little bit of um, this going on. So I got some white edges, which is no big deal because it's easier to actually take and grow a selection than it is to actually uh, make a selection sometimes. So if I hold Alt and Shift, I can make this grow from the outside and fill that marble perfectly. And I can use the arrow tool or the arrows on the keyboard to move it around. Okay, so pretty, you know, pretty different way of looking at things, but you know, you can add some textures to some very interesting surface. Here's with it off, here's with it on. Now there's no really right answer. Let's say I use this the other way, instead of darkening it. I use it on overlay and now I get this really cool glass effect like it almost looks like it's underneath the glass itself it's even embedded into this uh, highlighted area right here another one that's really nice with glass is soft light 
So adding textures to a surface that didn't have textures before. That's a, that's a key essential trick in Photoshop because that's when you add details to things. So you can spot there's another marble in here that has some textures right there. And it's those finite things that are pretty interesting, I think. Another thing that you could do is um, colorize an object. So I'm going to get into some more, you know, adding colors to objects that are black and white here in the next video. So please move on to the next video.